what I'm going to do today is uh, these valve clearances so it's due for a service I'm going to give it an air filter fuel filter oil filter oil I'm going to do the valves I'm going to top up the uh, drain some out top of the gearbox coolant check that's been done not long back so that's every five years that coolant because it's quite good quality and um, yeah let's see how we get on first I'm going to take this belt off because I want to turn the crank I'm not going to remove any glow plugs nothing because that engine will turn over with everything in situ I don't want to risk it breaking anything so leave the glow plugs alone don't touch any of those this is the way I do it right undo these 12 mil bolts here look there's nuts slacken them off and that one there there's a breather pipe just there you've got to get that off as well so I'm going to slacken these off Stopping me here, lot. Come on, baby, off you go. There we are. Fingers crossed. There we go. That gasket actually feels. It still feels all right, but I will put some smear of grease on that when I put it back. That needs cleaning off there, lot. And you can see there. That needs a bit of a clean off as well. You beauty ripper. I'm just going to put these bits and bobs so I don't lose them in there and the nuts as well. I'm going to put this out of the way. That's a reusable gasket. I can still feel there's a bit of a lip there, you see. So long as that's bit flat on the back there I could actually do with a change in that but it's not it's okay it'll do I'm gonna put some of grease on that before it goes back on put that out of the way and don't drop it I'm turning the crank with the 17 mil spanner as you can see here look I'll show you I'm just putting that on the on the crank as you can see, there are bolts on this crank. I'm just turning the crank now. Can you see the valves? What I do is... And that valve is down there. See that valve? And that valve's at its lowest point. I set this one. You got to fiddle about to make sure which one's the lowest point. You need to go backwards and forwards a little bit. But that's that's just on the verge of going back up again. There you are. Look, that's still going down a bit. That's going back up now. Look, so go back a bit. Check the valve clearances on there. I check the valve clearances on that one. That is now rocking. Right. And the valve clearances are not point. I'm setting the valve clearances at point naught naught seven. Old. Let's just check that bad boy. Pinching, that's not bad. I think that'll be alright, that one. That one's fine. I want to get that one down. And then so I can set this one. When that one's down, I set that one. When that one's down, I set that one. Alrighty. This one's going to start going down now. If you watch that. 
I'm turning this whole engine by with everything's in situ. I'm not taking, I'm taking the belt, fan belt off. The alternator belt off. There you go. Look, that one's down. And now set this one. Let's check that one. Exactly the same. That's actually a little bit tight, but I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it backwards and forwards till I get it where I think it should be, which is it's coming back up again now, you see, I want to go back to there, about there, and that is perfect, look, that is just nipping, there we are. And I've all I've taken off is this. All I've taken off is an alternator belt. I'm turning the crank with a 17 mil spanner. This can be as hard or as simple as you want it to be. If you want to really complicate things, go to your manual. Do exactly as they tell you. Take all your glow plugs out. Snap those on the way out. This way, I'm just leaving everything alone. Uh, I can still check the valves. I checked them last time like this and it's been working for a year ever since and it works well for me so next one going to go down is that one let's just turn that crank and the crank does turn it doesn't turn a little bit stiff but nothing you can't handle I'll just get over the compression stroke and it turns pretty easily to be honest and you'll start to see when that third one goes down. <sighs> See that third one going down now? When that gets to the, the bottom. And can't do it move anymore. The cuts come back up again. Let's get back. Now check this one, which is again it's perfect. I did set the I set these a year ago, and it's still perfect. Let's go see what I mean. Next one's going to be that one down, and I check that one, and the vice versa. That one's down. I check that one. I'm going to check this, this one's down now, look, I'm just going to check this one, and it just slips in with a slight bit of resistance, I'm not going to bother adjusting that, that's perfect, it's just a very, very minute bit of resistance on that, and that'll do, I'll get too fussy on that, the next one's going to be, and this one's down, I'm going to check that one, and so on and so forth. Now this is taking me all of, I don't know, 20 minutes. And that one's down, well see that one's down there lot. Whichever comes next, just check the one next to it. There we are. Let's check that one. That's got a like this bit of resistance which is perfect you can see that one's down there look you could also check you know do that one there if you wanted to see there look so that one's down that one's down you could check the two of them at your time if you wanted to make it even quicker this is how i do it you've only got people do it a different way to me but this is how i do it That one's down there, look. That one's down there, so I'm going to check that one. See there, look. And that is, for me, it's just a slight bit of resistance. It's perfect. But that one's also down as well. So you could, in theory, check that one. See there, look. All we've got to do now is check that last one there, and that's it. going down now and 
There we are, it's the last one. And that feels a slight bit of resistance. All those valves are perfect as far as I'm concerned. It's taken me as long as you watch that video to set those, or to check them. Setting them is different, a bit more involved. You have to un I think it's a nine mil, unbolt those and then screwdriver in there to adjust them. Right, I don't need to do, do any of these, they're all perfect. I said I'm leaving it now, I'm just gonna clean off that surface, clean off the rocker cover, put some smear of grease and back on again. Beautiful. I'm just gonna clean this surface off here. Thought out so why it's miserable outside as you can see there a lot. It's bloody horrible, it's raining. Cat factory like that amazing. I'm gonna set the valves. There we are, I'm just gonna clean that off. Finish cleaning this off. Go on, get in there, Betty. On these, there's your rail of glow plugs there look can you see that just along there I don't want to get involved with those at the moment and they work perfectly it starts up fine it ain't broke I'm not gonna fix it right I've cleaned the mating surfaces there look I want to clean the rocker cover now top and um, put some grease on that and put it back now it's back on now the hardest bit actually was getting that bloody this pipe at the back there to see that's back on now I'm gonna put these two and put these washers on these crush washers which I changed last year still in good condition so I'm gonna keep those And that one there, there's four of those. Also the plate there, Beats Marine plate, that goes onto there. Put these two centre ones back on. Check that so you make sure there's no sludge or grease in it before you put it back on. There we are. I've just got another dome nut to put on there. Look, I can find it, it drops it on the floor. Tighten these down, not too tight, just gently, and that side as well. I don't want to go too mad on those. There we are. Alrighty. Now it's time to fire it up. Well, sorry, get the belt back on first. Then we'll fire it up and then squeaky uh, alternator still not squeaking look beautiful right now I've uh, put the belt back on Let's just clean that date off there and then uh, the tip X and I'll put another date on there from today when I serviced it Alrighty. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the engine and then let it run to get hot and give it an oil change. I've run the engine for half an hour. I've run it for 35 minutes. It's really hot now, so I'm going to check for leaks. Le 
leaks so I'm now going to service it.